wider delivery. And uh, this time he doesn't quite get his line right. Can they get a wicket now to really make this a fantastic start? This one's hit. He hasn't really connected. And it will be taken. Fantastic start for MDOX. Just what they would have wanted after a long off season where they've made a serious bit of improvement and they've just got off to a brilliant start. So often does. And there goes a bit too back and far back of a length and uh, it's easily pulled away for a four to square leg. And that will be the first four with the Mufflons. And this time he just gets it wrong. Leaves it on his pad and then Aaron Khan can just swing his hands at it and he'll get a maximum. Really very concerned about Mehran Khan's ability to hit square the wicket. And once again, there is Mehran Khan demonstrating that clean hitting we were talking about. This one just uh, flicked around the corner, and right as soon as I say that, the Mukunduri provides him a nice little ball to flick off his pads. You don't want to give this man any extra confidence. It's nicely done. All he has to do is just flick it. Sorry to any England football fans out there for those memories. As Ishan Sarrar just pops one up and it's taken well at third man. Well, M Docs is catching has been excellent so far today as that's another good catch for them. They'll be very pleased with themselves as they've just sent both the openers back to the dugout. Oh, that's a, that's a brilliant ball. Fantastic stuff for Pasoria. He's got his first wicket. It's none other than the danger man, Mehran Khan. He looks so good, hasn't he? He's carried this uh, Mufflon's batting effort so far, and now he's gone. Of course, uh, Grisevic Singh was the uh, third highest run getter in July 2020's inaugural T10 tournament, as he just shows why he was the third highest run getter and that's some excellent fielding after a great hit both long off and long on working together in coordination and then an even better throw direct hit from out there and that is some excellent work high fives all around and uh, get some applause from their teammates just look at this this is brilliant stuff this was on the stumps and uh, there's no fielder out there so he'll uh, Hop along for four as uh, Minhas Khan has his second boundary. Moves to eight off eight. As Mercevic Singh is out back on strike. Wider delivery again, goes straight to those fielders. And this time he'll split them and go for a boundary. Straighter one this time onto his pads and uh, that'll just be helped away for four. And uh, Mufflons are having a more productive over And this one's a nice full toss, which will... Oh, that's excellent fielding. Can MDOX uh, round out a brilliant performance in a good way, as this is straight to the fielder and long on. And that's a brilliant start to the penultimate over, as uh, Orsavik Singh has been dismissed. Goes wider. This one popped up in the air. Is it going to drop in no man's land? Yes, it will. We'll get a couple of runs as well. Dale does an excellent bit of work. This one's hit up, popped up in the air. Will it go the distance? It will. As a uh, fielder at long on and uh, Kyle Corner both try to go for it. That'll be Minhas Khan's first six and the third six of the Mufflons innings. Oh, that one struck him. That one struck him. That one's really close. And it's been given. That was out. And now Rahul Shukla has his first wicket. Can Minas Khan continue his little cameo he's playing? Goes for the big hit. Has he caught hold of this? Has he caught hold of this? Oh, that was a tough opportunity. But it goes for six. That was never going to be easy for Chete Shah. We saw him and Thadani fielding very, very well in unison earlier. Minas Khan playing a useful cameo as this one. There's going to be no question about that one being a six. 
goes straight into the olive groves as that tree will be giving white cricket balls and olives here's Minos Khan is just hit back to back sixes the wider one has popped up is this going to be three sixes in a row it is and this over is turning into a nightmare for Shukla and Raul Shukla end well here uh, Minos Khan doesn't quite get hold of that. They'll run for a second because they might as well. And that's a terrible bit of fielding. And the worst possible final over for MDocs as they give up 23 runs on it. It was all going so well for them. Very well played by Chete Shah. And they'll get a couple of runs. This is a uh, good batting to start off. Oh, that's another good delivery. Will it go straight to the fielder? It will. No problem there, and he gets the big wicket. This one hit. This time they will get a boundary, so it's third time lucky for the Muflons. Beg your pardon, M Docs. Third time would be unlucky for the Mufflons. This one's very well hit. That was well hit and once again goes through cover. This is some clean hitting by MDOC. Some great hitting. Long on sort of three quarters isn't quite on the boundary rope. That's very strange to see in Cyprus. As this one goes for four as well. Himal Kunduri is looking excellent out there. That's gone straight to his own team's dugout. They'll be very pleased. They'll say send a few more here with them in the World Cup and uh, that one's taken an edge an excellent bit of fielding by Minhas Khan who's been an absolute star today oh, this one goes square of the wicket and once again once again Kunduri showing that he really favors square of the wicket and so the captain has brought Rusevic Singh into the attack he's bowling out arguably his two best bowlers right at the start as this one's uh, played to extra cover and we'll go for four. Excellent bit of placement. Uh, Shrikant hits his first boundary. Well, this one hits straight. And there's a fielder there. But it pops right through his hands. Same thing going around the wicket. Oh, that takes an inside edge. Will it go for four? And yes, it will. A little bit of fortune for MDOX. And they'll happily take it. Not the kind of fortune in which Gersavik Singh would have wanted. He's uh, probably not having one of his uh, luckier nights. Oh, he's clipped the top of the stumps. And that's the big wicket. That's why the captain held him back. The cannon wick is in the latter stage of the innings. And it's Vimal Kunduri who he's got. So he's uh, proving his worth. Clips the top of the stumps. That's a perfect delivery. And uh, recognizing that, uh, Savan charges down the wicket, but very feebly just pops it up to the bowler, and uh, Ali gets his second wicket. And Savan just uh, not able to do a job for M Docs. Made just four runs of six deliveries. Oh, this one uh, isn't able to hit it. Oh, Scotts think he's run him out. He's definitely run him out, and. Uh, well, M Docs are seem to be um, going out without a whimper. Looked really promising for them at the halfway stage of the innings, and uh, while well, they're collapsing in their second half, just sent a man into short cover. Mufflons goes for the big hit, gets an inside edge. Well, it's probably not the way they would have uh, hoped to hit it, but they still get a boundary. Pungal goes for the big hit, and he gets a boundary. Really the only the two men on screen who hit it. And this time Pungal goes big. Has it gone the distance? It has with a bit of help from Wakar Ali. A much needed six to end the over. Looks to be the right decision. Pungal looking at the first delivery as Tadani plays this one. Will it go for four or has it gone the distance? This is very well played by Tadani. And they start off with one. Has it gone the distance? It has. They need a couple more of those. 
his bowl illegal delivery. And they'll have picked up a win in their first game as well. That was a really angry stroke by the captain. Hitay Sadani, he had a huge six and he's still frustrated about that wide field that should have been given. As M Docs come oh so close to their first ever win. They lose by just four runs. It was one shot, just one shot. 